So how do you improve as a young track and field athlete? Well, today I've got three tips for you coming up next. The music y'all are about to hear in this video was done by my cousin Kyle at kae.falls. Go check him out. What's going on, y'all? I'm MJP, and this is MJP TV, where we cover all things track and field. I just want to thank you for clicking on my video. If you haven't already, hit that like button and smash that subscribe button if you're new, because this is the channel for you. And let's get into the video. So the main thing you should really take away from this video is that in order to improve in track and field, you have to work hard. And so none of the three tips I give you will work as best they can and work optimally, unless you put in the work, right? So my first tip would be to change your habits, you know, the way you eat, the way you sleep, how you, you know, go about practice. You want to do your best in everything you can do. And so you can research the best diets for your event, right? Or for your body type. And so by changing that, you gain an edge on someone who, you know, might have the talent, but eats junk food every single day, you know? And then next thing, if you're of age, you can start weightlifting in high school. Don't wait until you get to college like me. That's not what you want to do. You want to start early. And even if you aren't of the age to lift the weight, you can still learn the technique so that way when you do, you know, come of age in order to lift weight, you already are ahead of the game, right? And so you just want to put in the preparation and the work ahead of time before you even get onto the track. You're the one that goes to bed on time. You're the one who eats right. And so by doing, you know, these different small things throughout the day, you can improve your performance greatly. And so you aren't going to see these results after one day, after two days, after two weeks. You'll start seeing them in the season after you've done them now for two months, three months, four months. So this is really playing the long game, but by implementing and changing your habits, you can drastically improve your performance. And so my next tip would be join a super team. And what I mean by joining a super team is join someplace where they're going to coach you well and give you positive reinforcement. There's tons of talent on the team, so you most likely won't be the best runner and there will be people better than you. And it's highly competitive. And so by finding a place where all those things are present, you'll see vast improvement. This is the main thing, in my opinion, that can help you improve in track and field by being around people who are better than you, faster than you. And so by competing against them every single day, you yourself will become much, much better. And so myself personally, the Wings Track Club, I joined them uh, my junior year of high school. And so by joining them, I was able to go from running, you know, about 49, 48, and I lost the whole second on my 400 time to go down to 48 and splitting 47 in two months. And so of course that's caveated on working hard and putting in the effort, but by finding an environment that will foster your development and will be positive, you know, when you have a bad day or, you know, everything isn't going well, they'll still pick you up. By finding a team like that, where you can compete and still enjoy yourself, it, it'll improve uh, the way you run immensely. So my last and final tip would be to hone your mental edge. And I say hone your mental edge because to me, track and field is one of the most, if not the most mentally taxing sports. Most times in track and field, you get one opportunity to perform. It's not like in football where you have almost 60 plays a game to do your best, right? You have one chance. And so in that one chance, you need to perform your very best. And you need to have a strong mental state going into your race or to your jump or to your throw. And so you need to prepare for that. You need to know why you're there, right? And the main thing is when I say know why you're there, know why you're competing, right? You're there to improve. And so you need to focus on your performance, not necessarily the result, which is actually kind of counterintuitive to the way I did things when I was younger, right? I was so focused on I have to get first, right? But for the majority of people, you know, only one person gets first place, right? And so if your goal is just to get first each time and say you don't get that four races in a row, you're going to be disappointed, dejected, wondering why I put in all this work and I'm not getting the results I want. You need to focus on the performance, right? So say the first race, you run 56, right? Second race, you run 55.5, right? But each time you got eight. Well, your performance has gotten better, even though your results 
haven't really changed, you're performing better. And so that's what I really mean by, you know, focus on performance, not results, because results will come through your performance, right? And so through honing your mental edge, you can do this in different ways. You know, for me, one way that really helps was trusting in knowing that I worked hard and that my hard work will eventually pay off, right? And so by trusting in all the work you put in, it gives you kind of a mental superiority where it's like, I know what I've done to prepare for this. I've trained, you know, I've eaten right, I've slept well, I'm going to do great, right? And so you have that confidence about yourself that you will go out there and kill it, right? Even if you come in eighth place, right? You might run a PR. So, I mean, main thing, this will control how you perform, right? Because if you're in a bad mental state before a race, you know, you might as well throw in the towel before then. If you think you can't perform up here, you won't perform at all, right? And you can literally will your body to do more than what you think it's capable of by controlling your mind. Thank you for watching, and since you've made it to the end of my video, I'd love for you to comment down below what helped you improve in track and field, right? So leave your answer down below in the comments. I just want to thank you again. Uh, if you haven't subscribed already, hit that subscribe button, smash like, and share this video so that way hopefully these tips can help someone else. God bless. As well as they will, as well as they could. Speak proper English, can't understand you. I mean, they better win. Come on. Oh, stop. You gotta go. You didn't know what you were gonna say next, now did you? Gotta go with this clicker.